Welcome to Rediscover the Verde Valley, um, presented by the Cottonwood Chamber of Commerce. I'm Christian Oliva Del Rio, and with me today is Vice Mayor Kyla Allen. Good morning. Good morning, and business owner for Twin Wolves Designs. Yes, sir. Right? Mm -hmm. And uh, current candidate for council for the city of Cottonwood. What fun. So, I know, <laughs> what fun is right. <laughs> <laughs> so, Kyla, um, I know you've been in the Verde Valley for a very long time. Uh, mm -hmm. Can you give us a little history, a little background? Uh, sure. I moved here about 32 years ago. Okay. At, at that point, I had three children, and one was just reaching school age, and I really didn't want her in the public school system mm -hmm. in California, which is where I lived at the time. Right. And so we moved out to a small rural area that I had never visited before called Cottonwood, Arizona. Mm -hmm. That. Um, just loved. Took yeah. a little while to get used to that small town environment. Mm -hmm. um, became a mom of six. Wow. So I've yeah. got three native Arizonans in my family now. Wow. And uh, they uh, all graduated Mingus Union High School and are off on their wow. various so all activities. Grown all and grown up. Having their own families and still come and visit oh, quite yeah. a bit. Oh, yeah. I've got um, two actually that live in my same neighborhood. Two live down in Tucson right. and two live out of state. You know, right. they follow. Yeah. a girl or a guy and they go out and do their thing <laughs> you know one one is a tutor at Pittsburgh University Pitt University mm -hmm. and another um, my my son just bought his first house so wow. he's jazzed and Great. he lives in um, New Jersey yeah wow New Jersey he's you know why back to a back? city boy too exactly right? <laughs> he loves it he that's loves awesome it. so husband and, husband you know. husband of oh, 22 years yeah uh, Jim Allen he was police chief in Jerome for a while, and uh, he actually works for Red Rock Jeep Tours, right. which he's been doing for 20, almost 25 wow. years now. So he's native to the he, area, Jim? He, no, he was actually born in California, but came here very young. Yeah, so I think so he's got deep roots he here, would, though. He, yeah, he should be a native. Right, you know, that's great. We love it, we love Arizona. Yeah, yeah. love Jim, too, great yeah, guy. He no. is <laughs> he's my buddy. I'll keep him. <laughs> so, uh, any grandkids? Uh, we were. You know, there's 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 his, mine, and ours. Right. I had three, he had five, but they were grown when we mm -hmm. got together, mm -hmm. and then we had one. Yeah. So he has grandkids, right. wonderful, yeah. wonderful kids. Yeah. Some live locally, some live up in Utah. Um, and then I don't have any yet. All right, kids, come on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, right? Get busy here. We need Get some busy. grandbabies. I need a grandbaby. So, um, yeah. but they're still young. You know, you got time. Absolutely, got plenty yeah. of time. I've, I, I've got three of my own. You right. know, you know, and I love those kids. Boy, they make make oh. the day worth when going. You, when you have kids early, I, mine were you know all twenty one and right. all before the age of thirty. Basically, mm -hmm. I had five children, mm -hmm. and then after thirty, I had one. You kind of push on your kids. It's okay to wait a little while right. to have kids because right. you're yeah. still a kid yourself. Absolutely, you know, have fun. You've got to experience then, some life, and yeah, and you then know. settle down. I'm still pushing my daughter Amanda, who's in Prescott, you know, and she's she actually was running a daycare for a number of years, and she Ooh, was like, she? I had my fill. <laughs> I don't need <laughs> no right babies. Now. I'm waiting. <laughs> <laughs> that might be what the issue yeah. is. When you have five kids, they're each taking care of a baby. Yeah, and they're like, no. <laughs> <laughs> so. Um, Tell us a little bit more about your history and your involvement with the city. Well, I started working for the city actually, I think it was 89, but mm -hmm. I had left for a little while mm -hmm. and then came back in 93 and I started working for the fire department. I worked for the fire department for 10 years yeah. as the um, admin there, enjoyed it tremendously, right. ever have an opportunity to work with the fire department. It's just yeah. like walking into a family. Mm -hmm. um, I can't sing their praises more. Right. I went from there to Cottonwood Police Department, worked there for several years, mm -hmm. and probably one of my favorite positions because you really feel like you're making a difference. Yeah. Um, I was uh, the assistant to the police chief at the time, went through two chiefs, mm -hmm. um, and just really, I mean, I typed transcripts for a homicide. And I felt like yeah. that was really making a difference in the world. And sure. so it was, I really enjoyed that. Um, different kind of family environment, police officer, right. different kind of duck. And then I went to the city manager's office mm -hmm. and worked as his assistant mm -hmm. for seven years, I believe, quite yeah. a while. It's and amazing then, that yeah, you've given a lot to our community. I and, worked in a lot of different, and then on top of the positions, of course, I've, re I've volunteered for numerous boards and commissions. Right. Um, you want to go that route? Yeah. Um, I've uh, actually right now I serve on the Verde Valley Leadership Program well, Board, right. which I love. I'm a graduate of Class Three. Mm -hmm. We just did interviews for Class Thirteen. It's amazing. Um, it's it's 
just a wonderful contribution to our world, mm -hmm. to the city, in bringing leaders right. to the to forefront. To the Verde Valley, and, for and sure. Right. To the Verde saw, Valley. That's where I think you and I actually officially kind of, I mean, we've always, right. you know, done business together, but I think uh, I was a graduate of uh, class two. Right. So, and then served on the board after that. Exactly. So, that's where um, we got our relationship that's going. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so we're working on that. Um, part of the professional Northern Arizona Professional Women's Group. Yeah. This year I serve as the vice president. Next year I'll be the president. Mm -hmm. um, great group of women, whether you are a professional or want to become a professional or a retired professional. Mm -hmm. It's a great organization to be a part of, know what's going on in the community, and just right. hang out with like-minded women. Uh, you know, yeah, it really yeah. is great. Um, yeah. And then um, Brady Valley Military Service Park. Right. I'm serving on that committee right now. Love that. If you've not been to the park, mm -hmm. go visit the park. They're yeah. always adding new sculptures and things. Right, so. right. That's excellent. Cool. So thank you for, you know, all your service to oh, our I community. Love it. I, mean, I love it. You continue to do more and more. It amazes me. How do you find the time? <laughs> so, my, so my husband said, how do you do that? I'm tired right. of just going to work and back. <laughs> <laughs> so can you tell us a little bit about some of the exciting things happening in the city and, you know, maybe events? or? Sure. One of the, well, of course, we've got our 4th of July event coming up right. real quick. I'm Hoping excited. maybe we, we get a little, little bit rain, of rain. A little more rain. <laughs> because right now it's really touchy. The fire's it's too easy to set. But, of course, 4th of July mm -hmm. at the Kids Park in Cottonwood. Right. Um, door, gates open at 4. Mm -hmm. Event starts at dark. I'm actually going to be giving a little presentation at 7:30. But the mayor's out of town, enjoying a much-needed vacation. Yeah. So I get to step into those shoes at right. that time. Going to be a blast. Yeah. Um, what else exciting is going on? Um, the city recently awarded some grants mm -hmm. to some organizations. Um, there's the Verde Valley Homeless Coalition. Oh yeah. They applied for the grant. Mm -hmm. A couple organizations applied at the same time and we thought they both were worthy. So we awarded them both and they're getting $12,000. Renee, A sorry, mm -hmm. Raina Avalon mm -hmm. is the chair of that commission and they're creating a um, drop-in center for mm -hmm. the homeless because of course we get excessive weather, whether it's hot or cold, this will help them, mm -hmm. as well as uh, take showers, get on the computer, look for jobs, that right. kind of thing. Right. Wonderful organization. I hope they're very successful. Yeah. And then Disking for Kids. You know Disking for Kids? A um, gentleman by the name of Eddie Diaz started it in Flagstaff. Oh. He has a, well over 2,500 kids participating, and he asked for a grant for the baskets. If you never played disc golf, it's a little disc, and it's... it's M more it's, technical than frisbee. Never say right. frisbee. <laughs> and you and you. It's a little harder. It I is mean, much you harder. You think it would be easy, but it's, it's a little it, too <laughs> I do new. Right. Anyway, we awarded him a grant to buy baskets to use here in the Verde Valley and organize that same kind of participation yeah. for Excellent. our kids. Excellent. That's wonderful. Yeah. Really excited right. about that. Right. So. You were appointed to the council, correct? correct? There was a seat that became available. When was that? Can you tell us a little bit more? Actually, give us a history on that? I retired in 2015. Six months later, we had three council members step down at the same time mm -hmm. in order to run for other, well, two were to run for other offices. Right. Mayor Alinsky ran successfully. Right. Supervisor Garrison ran mm -hmm. successfully. And then Jesse Dowling stepped down for personal reasons. He was right. moving out of the area, right. um, who has since moved back, so look for him in the future. Yeah. Um, and so I thought, oh, I just retired. I was mm -hmm. going to move into my art business. I thought, right. well, I can serve for two years. Yeah. They need some good people and they can just step in and pick up the ball. And right. I know just about everything. I, of course, there was a lot, some to learn from me. But yeah. so I thought I would apply and I was the top scoring candidate of mm -hmm. the 12 candidates that applied. Right. So That's excellent. And when, when was that? What I'm year? sorry, that was in 2016. 2016. In okay. July. Right. Okay. So then now that puts up that seat is available. And right. And that's why you're you're running. Correct. Uh, it had right. two years remaining on that right. term. And so I have to run if I want to stay on council. Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> Which I never thought because I'm not a politician personality. I don't do that, yeah. that politician thing. But I found that I make a difference and, and I hear the people that some people don't listen to. Yeah. And they're not just constituents, they're friends, they're business sure. owners, they're, they're people that are concerned. Um, and I, I felt like I really can make a difference. And, and I feel like the city needs somebody that's, that's qualified and mm -hmm. has experience right. to Understand step into those working. shoes. These are, these are challenging times, so right. we need somebody that knows what they're right. doing. So tell us a little bit more about the city council. Uh, what's it like working with 
different personalities, different and ideas. It's, it's, it's quite a challenge, but it's a challenge in a good way. Mm -hmm. Anything that happens in that council chambers, most of us, mm -hmm. as soon as you walk out of that council chambers, it's, it's left, behind. left behind. No matter if you're totally on opposite sides of, of a topic, which there's been many lately, mm -hmm. um, you step away from, the majority of us step away from that, still friends, right. able to have lunch together. Right. Um, there's more politics than I would have ever thought. And I worked on the other side, mm -hmm. assisting the council for many years. To, so to be stepping on this side, I was quite surprised yeah. by the amount of politics. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, um, for me of, of late, there's more good than bad. Mm -hmm. There's more support than, than not. Mm -hmm. So I'm enjoying that. I have enjoyed it. You know, we always have your, your dips and your need to get a thicker skin, mm -hmm. you know, but I really am enjoying yeah, it. That's great. Um, yeah, uh, you know, that was one of my big questions is why would anybody want to do it you know uh, I admire you for stepping up and, and doing Thank that you. you've always have a, uh, had a service minded uh, life and uh, you know you're always giving to the community and we Thank sure do you. appreciate that Thank you. so I tell you what we're gonna go ahead and take a quick break right. and uh, when we come back we'll talk a little bit more about the city and the City Council okay sounds good great thank you This is Bruce Morrow, Transportation Manager for Cottonwood Area Transit. Remember, we cover the entire Verde Valley in Sedona. Cottonwood Area Transit has you covered wherever you want to ride in the Verde Valley, all day, every day. Take Cottonwood Area Transit through Clarkdale, Verde Village, and from 26 locations in Cottonwood. With Verde Links, it's a quick and easy trip to Sedona every day. Don't forget our connectors to Camp Verde. Visit CottonwoodAZ.gov for Cottonwood Area Transit and take a seat. Let's go ride! There are people who struggle with addiction and homelessness. Sometimes it may feel like there is nothing we can do to help. But there is. You can make a tax-deductible donation and help those in need transition away from homelessness. When you give someone a handout, you could actually be supporting an addiction. A better life starts with better health, especially for those living in the streets. Support solutions, not addictions. You can make a difference. Visit CottonwoodCares.com. Welcome back to Rediscover the Verde Valley. Um, Christian Oliva Del Rio with the Cottonwood Chamber of Commerce. And again with me is Kyla Allen, Vice Mayor, uh, running for City Council. Correct. Um, business owner. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about your business, if you would. Oh, it, Twin Wolf Designs, and it's actually not been doing a lot lately just because I've so invested in yeah. the council. Twin Wolf Designs, I'm an artist and I paint on everything, mm -hmm. whether it's wood or antlers or mm -hmm. leather, and then your general canvas paintings. Right. That's, well, that's when we me. did the painted barrels too, you did one I of did, our I did, I did. I've actually awesome. done three of them. Right. So. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about the city council, okay? So, um, you know, what were your struggles maybe coming on? What were some of the things that you might have thought you knew and had to learn or, you know? Um, I was pretty comfortable going in there. The, you go to this League of Cities and Towns training right. to make sure you understand open meeting laws and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, so that was a big thing where you can't discuss things with other council members mm -hmm. when you're not in the in the council chambers. Sure. So that was that was fun to learn. Um, biggest struggles, as I was saying before, is learning not to take things personally because it's very political. Some people have extremely strong opinions, especially. Mm -hmm. after our last presidential election, the, the yeah. kind of tactics that were used. So that's kind of what happens on a smaller scale in our community, which is sad because we're, it I is. think we're above that. We're, right. We are closer to the people that we work for than the yeah, federal these government. Are our neighbors. And, our neighbors, know, our, our friends, friends, and yeah. you don't wanna, you don't wanna go that route. You wanna be a friendly and keep a sure. relationship going. So that's probably the, the only struggle that I've really had is understanding or not understanding, dealing with that mm -hmm. kind of political um, jockeying, right. which um, I'm, whether I'm vice mayor, council member, it doesn't matter, I'm still yeah. working for the citizens. It's not, Absolutely. it's not my position, it's their position they're allowing me to fill. Right, well that's I think what, why I keep asking why. Why would anybody want <laughs> to do this? You know, I'm, I'm serious, it's, it's, it's very frustrating to me that, you know, people can, 
destroy a person's character and, and you know, not treat them uh, right when they're serving our community. And they're it, doing the best that they can for our community. And, and, and I would hope that the public understands um, people when they don't really have anything constructive, constructive to say, <laughs> they, they tend they, to just throw stuff mm -hmm, out there just yeah. to get people either to read their Facebook page, right. you know, or have something to talk about. And sometimes they just don't know mm -hmm. because they've read it and read it and read it, so it must be true. Yeah. And you've got to turn around and try to refocus that and explain it's, Absolutely. It, here's yeah. the truth of the matter. It's a little bit tough to get people to open their minds and, and actually really understand. It and it's more fun to do the juicy stuff. And participate, stuff. right, yeah. yeah. Participate. participate is a big thing. Right, you know, be a part of the solution, not the problem. Correct. So, yeah, so now you're running, <laughs> right? Yes, How I am. How can people find out more about Kyla Allen and your campaign or contribute? How can people help? Absolutely. Contributing is wonderful. I'm mm -hmm. at www.kylaallen.com is my website. Mm -hmm. um, it's got a, you can help by posting signs. You can help by handing out rat cards, especially mm -hmm. as we get closer to the elections. Um, and just put the positive word out there mm -hmm. is what I like. You can also get on my Facebook site, which is Kyla Allen for Council. Mm -hmm. um, and I've got a lot of things I put in there. Just, I put everything in there about the city. My personal Facebook site is also Kyla Allen. So mm -hmm. if you want to know the goofy side of me, yeah. you can check there. But the professional is, is Kyla Allen for Council. Right. Well, and you're always open to just meeting with somebody and talking like this. I know I've had several lunches with you and, mm -hmm. you know, meetings to discuss your, your, your thoughts um, on the city and um, some of the key initiatives that you're, you're wanting to address. Um, Absolutely. You know, what are some of those key initiatives to share with people? Um, probably the, the biggest things we've got coming up, well, the budget is a big one. Everybody's mm -hmm. talking about the budget right now and it's, and it's going to be a struggle. It's a struggle for everybody every year and the city has done so good about using every single dollar that mm -hmm. they have as, as uh, efficiently as they can. Right. So you're going to see stuff in the newspaper. The biggest thing is we just um, approved the spending authority, which means the absolute top amount of money the city can spend mm -hmm. um, in the next fiscal year. And last year I believe it was 84 million, somewhere mm -hmm. around 84 million mm -hmm. that was approved, but they spent 65 million. Right. So it's always, the spending authority is always more because if we get a grant right. for a million yeah. dollars and we don't have it budgeted, we're not allowed to spend it. Right. There's there's technical things. So. Right, I think that's a big part of the, what people don't understand and these are the things that you learn when you go right. to like the League of Cities and I was um, excited to be able to attend that because I mm -hmm. learned so much that you know a lot of this stuff is dictated by certain laws and, right. and, and regulations that you have to follow as a municipality. And I don't think that a lot of people realize that. Right. Um, so, um, so let's talk a little bit more. So budget, right? That's obviously budget a hot was topic. One of them. It'll be right? a hot topic until probably August of or course, so. Of course, you know, it, that's taxpayer dollars that are coming in. Right. And of course, I, I see it being under a microscope, but I also do see the, the council uh, taking the time to discuss it and work through it. Right, so, exactly. Um, the and other The other couple words. things coming up that for me, um, uh, we're hiring a new city manager mm -hmm. or because uh, Doug Bartosh, current city manager, will be retiring sometime right. in January. Right. Um, he'll stay hopefully a month to show the new city manager the ropes. Mm -hmm. We just approved um, an organization that does all the work for you right. in order to avoid any kind of semblance of favoritism because I know we've got a couple of people inside the city right. that are interested in applying. So you're looking to expand great. the search, is so that correct? Search so will be for the entire state of Arizona. The entire state, okay. Yeah. And then everybody, anybody who's interested can apply. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be quite a process, right? I it mean, is always a process. There's a lot of interviews that happen. Mm -hmm. You glean it from, who knows, 60, 100. That'd be wonderful if we got 100. Yeah. You glean it down to a half a dozen, then you glean it down further. Mm -hmm. And what's neat about this process is the organization that we're gonna contract with is also gonna get public input. Mm -hmm. They'll meet with other various organizations to see what you're looking for in a city manager, right. as well as what we're looking for. So let's take another quick break, and then when we come back, we can talk a little bit more about, I'm not gonna put you on the spot, but I'd like to know what you're looking for in a city manager. Uh, you okay? bet. Great. You bet. Okay, come on back. Thank you. This is Bruce Merrill, Transportation Manager for Cottonwood Area Transit. 
Remember, we cover the entire Verde Valley in Sedona. Cottonwood Area Transit has you covered wherever you want to ride in the Verde Valley, all day, every day. Take Cottonwood Area Transit through Clarkdale, Verde Village, and from 26 locations in Cottonwood. With Verde Links, it's a quick and easy trip to Sedona every day. Don't forget our connectors to Camp Verde. Visit CottonwoodAZ.gov for Cottonwood Area Transit and take a seat. Let's go ride. There are people who struggle with addiction and homelessness. Sometimes it may feel like there is nothing we can do to help. But there is. You can make a tax-deductible donation and help those in need transition away from homelessness. When you give someone a handout, you could actually be supporting an addiction. A better life starts with better health, especially for those living in the streets. Support solutions, not addictions. You can make a difference. Visit CottonwoodCares.com. Welcome back to Rediscover the Verde Valley. Again with me is Vice Mayor Kyla Allen, who's running for City Council. Mm -hmm. um, there was kind of left off with the city manager position mm -hmm. uh, as far as your key initiatives. Um, so what do you think we're looking for um, in a city manager? Well, well we're looking for, for in a city manager someone that has a, a wide vision. We've got mm -hmm. detail people that can pick up the ball and take care of details. We want somebody to take us into that next level mm -hmm. the city can come. Doug Bartosh has done a great job mm -hmm. with opening up Old Town, um, right. reducing crime, um, putting buildings, uh, businesses in Old Town. Actually, when you get one or two key, they're called anchor businesses, yeah. it brings the rest of the businesses right. in, and he was able right. to do that. And we hope that the next city manager are able to broaden that because we're not just Old Town, mm -hmm. we're the entire city of Cottonwood and kind of yeah. kind of bring that together and see. Mm -hmm. It's exciting, what what is out there for us? Right. What can he do? Right. And I'm also looking for a strong individual. I don't want somebody that just says, oh, the council told me to do this. I no. want somebody that can say, you know, maybe that's not a good idea, right. or how about if we try Challenge this instead? Things, right? You know, yeah. it's we don't want a yes man. We want somebody no. that has his own ideas Absolutely. or her own ideas. Right? Yes, ladies. Yes, that's right. For ladies, sure. step up. Right. So. Um, yeah, we had a great uh, town manager in Clarkdale. That's also exactly. retiring. Exactly. She's so, retiring in a right. year. Yes. Gail is oh, wonderful. Um, so there was another area that you had shared with me about uh, boards and commissions. And, Absolutely. Right, that's kind of a challenge. It uh, is. We, we have a lot of seats open. We we'll always have some seats mm -hmm. open, and the, and the reason for that is, I believe, is the commitment is so long. When you have a four-year commitment, mm -hmm. some people just don't want to do They might be interested, it's but they, and they right. just don't have the time. Mm -hmm. What I would really like to promote this next, uh, uh, if I get back in, when right. I get back in, well, yeah. would be a citizen engagement plan, meaning that we get a, a huge pool of volunteers that are mm -hmm. interested in specific topics, right. police department, fire department, retirement, budget, and build this database. And then when we have that topic come up, mm -hmm. say, a, a send an email out, would you be interested in sitting on this city advisory group for one week, two weeks, right. five weeks? Right. So much easier for somebody when they have an end yes. to that topic. I and agree. we get a, a bigger buy-in from the citizens. We get more variety instead of the same yeah. dozen citizens serving on every commission and board. Right. Um, we, you know, we have one board that it, it's also a public meeting struggles because mm -hmm. some of them are friends and you get together and you start talking while you're violating public meeting law. Right, law. that's a little bit challenging. So if you have it a very limited time mm -hmm. and a, a more intense investigation on whatever the process is, like a budget, I would love to have a public budget process right. where the public actually comes in and mm -hmm. um, serves on a board and helps us determine what those right. purchases are gonna be sure. for the next year. So here's a, a challenge. Uh, you know, the city of Cottonwood is surrounded by county land, and there's mm -hmm. a lot of our citizens that aren't in the city. Uh, how, how do we address that? I think this board, this this idea, yeah. this concept, opens that up. Right. Whereas now we're, we have very limited, you have to have a majority of city citizens inside mm -hmm. the city. Sure. I think that's very much opens it up to the Verde Village area, to the Bridgeport yeah. area, right. the citizens we serve. So they they will have a bigger voice they than they have now. They feel they're part of it, exactly. right. Exactly. And, and you know, and I think there's a lot of um, great minds out there that, you know, um, we're not tapping into. And yes. this would be a great way for them to serve. It'd be perfect. I, you know, I happen to live in the Verge Villages myself, mm -hmm. um, and I would love to, to be a part of those things. So, there you go. Uh, but I'm kind of limited, so 
I'm going to hold you to that because you I want to be there. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, let's talk real quick about uh, we have a big event coming up um, July 25th. Uh, the Chamber of Commerce is partnering with the League of uh, Women Voters. Mm -hmm. It's a candidate forum. Uh, so uh, people out there, if you want to get involved and meet who's running for the council, uh, July 25th uh, at the Cottonwood Rec Center from 6.30 to 8.30. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to be there and um, four other, four other candidates. candidates that mm -hmm. are going to be. So um, that's a really good, important event for you to come out and meet everybody and ask it questions. Is. It's exciting um, to have What them. are some more, some other important dates that the voters need to remember. The first week of August is when the mail-in ballots come out, so mail votes back in. Mm -hmm. If you're one of those people that likes to do the mail-in ballot, right. August 28th is the primary election. Mm -hmm. If you don't do your mail-in, this is where you go to your voting booths and you vote. And then November 6th will be the general election. Mm -hmm. For those candidates in the primary election that receive 51 percent or more right. of the votes, they'll be seated. They don't need to run through November. Right. Right, so this is really important. It we is important. are actually uh, down to the wire right here because potentially uh, those early ballots could choose the um, candidate. Could choose the candidate. Mm -hmm. So, again, it's very important for uh, you voters out there to get to this candidate forum at the rec center, July twenty fifth. Meet your candidates and Please. ask plenty of questions. Right. Yes. Um, very important. Um, so let's switch gears a little bit. Um, you've been a member of the Cottonwood Chamber, been very involved with mm -hmm. the Cottonwood Chamber um, for a very long time. Um, and I know you're a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> right? You bet. But I want you to be tough on me. Um, I'm always looking for ways that the Chamber can um, service our members better, service the community better. Um, Tell me what the chamber could do better. You know, as I thought about this question, I even reached out to other individuals that serve within the city and without the city. Um, and we all actually came up with the same response. Mm -hmm. And that is, I think the public doesn't know how much you do for the community. Mm -hmm. I don't think you toot your horn right. broadly That's enough. That's been one of our struggles. It, it, yeah. Exactly. I mean, the amount per dollar that, that say we invest mm -hmm. in our bed tax to mm -hmm. you compared to the advertising that the city gets out right. is amazing. Yeah. And so I think if I was to say anything about the chamber, you need to, to let people know what you do. <laughs> well, thanks. That's actually been one of our biggest struggles. And um, I, I'm hoping that that is going to change very soon. Um, Pam Miller, we all know Pam Miller, love Wonderful. Pam Miller, worked Absolutely. for Birdie Independent for a number of years, 35 years I believe she's been in the newspaper business, has also been very involved and sat on our board and been our, our board chair and um, she's going to be stepping up and actually doing a lot of the PR and media work for the chamber. Yeah, so we're wonderful. real excited about that. So um, I'm hoping that will be <laughs> a way for the community to know a little bit more about what we do. Get that um, PR out so there. Absolutely. It is. It's important. Um, well, you know, I really do appreciate you being here and spending some time with me. Thank you. Um, I would encourage everybody out there to, to give you a call or shoot you an email or, you know, get to know you and really understand um, about your service to our community, and, and I thank you for your years thank of service you to our much. community. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. And I'm uh, looking very forward to you serving longer on the city council. So um, if I could vote in the city, <laughs> I would. I appreciate it. <laughs> Just a quick reminder on those dates, July 25th at the Cottonwood Rec Center, uh, 6.30 to 8.30. Uh, come and meet all of your candidates running for city council. Uh, August 1st, get out there and vote. And uh, the primary is the 28th. Uh, and the regular election is on November 6th. Also, check out KylaAllen.com and um, Facebook.com forward slash Cottonwood City Council member Kyla Allen is Facebook. You can also just do a quick search for Kyla Allen and she'll pop up. <laughs> pop up. That's right. <laughs> Great. Well, get out there and vote. It's very important. Um, be engaged and be um, knowledgeable about what is going on in our city. You bet. Thank you for joining us, and uh, we'll see you next month.